So good morning everyone and uh, my name is Umang Goswami. I work as an educator on an academy. So uh, today's lesson will be on the topic of absorption under uh, mass transfer in the chemical engineering discipline. So you can follow my courses and uh, download the Unacademy learning app and uh, share these videos and uh, also subscribe to the YouTube channel of Unacademy. Thank you. So good morning everyone and uh, welcome to lesson number 44 of mass transfer in the chemical engineering discipline on the topic of absorption. So in the last lecture we discussed about uh, the co-current mode, counter-current mode for absorption, stripping. Uh, we discussed about the concept of uh, stage and uh, we also said about the cascade that is the series of stages. So today we will be discussing on another important topic which is known as the Kremser brown equation. So uh, Kremser brown equation is basically used to find the number of stages uh, uh, which are uh, being used for an absorption process. So uh, uh, let's start with it. Now let's suppose we have an absorber or we have a column here and we have uh, some number of plates. So from here we are counting as first plate, second plate, third plate and so on and from uh, this plate will be nth plate. Now uh, the gas is entering from the bottom of the column whereas the liquid is entering from the top of the column. Now uh, this is because the vapors always have a tendency to flow upwards and liquid always have a tendency to flow downwards. Okay, so this is the nth plate, this is n minus 1th plate, n minus 2th plate and 1st, 2nd and 3rd plate and in between we will have number of plates. Okay, so the liquid coming from the top of the column has a composition of x naught, whereas the gases which are entering from the bottom of the column has a composition of y n plus 1. Okay, so this is the general notation uh, that we are using and it will be useful uh, for you whenever you solve a particular problem. So the liquid leaving from the first plate will be shown as capital X1 and uh, so this capital X1 will be entering on the second plate and when you, the liquid leaves the second plate its composition will be X2 and so on. Similarly on the nth plate the composition of liquid entering will be Xn minus 1. Now you can observe a general trend here that this will be for second plate it will be X1, for third plate it will be capital X2 and therefore for nth plate it will be capital X minus Xn, Xn minus 1 and the leaving composition will be capital Xn. Similarly, the entering composition is Yn plus 1. So the leaving will be Yn and for n minus 1th plate the entering will be Yn and the leaving will be Yn minus 1. Similarly, on the first plate the entering will be capital Y2 and the leaving will be small Y1. Okay. So this is the basic concept of uh, for Kremser brown equation that means you have to draw an, a column uh, specify the number of stages or that only we have to find so n stages operations and uh, always remember that for the first plate the liquid entering will be x naught and the vapors entering will be uh, y n plus 1 for the nth plate. So the liquid enters from the top of the column and has a composition of x naught. The gas enters from the bottom of the column and has the composition of y n plus 1. The liquid leaving from plate 1 has a composition of capital X1 and leaving from plate n has a composition cap and vapors leaving from plate n has a composition of capital y n. On plate 1 x1 and y1 will be in equilibrium that is on each plate the leaving streams will be in equilibrium. Now a very important point on stage 1 what are the leaving streams? x1 is leaving and y1 is leaving this stage. So both these will be in equilibrium. Similarly you can mark it for second plate, third plate and so on and therefore on the nth plate also the leaving streams are capital Yn and capital Xn because here the ent entering streams are Xn minus 1 and y n plus 1 and the leaving streams will be capital y n and capital x n. So always remember for stages the leaving streams are always in equilibrium. Now when you apply the balance so this becomes on nth plate the inlet stream is ls x n minus 1 and for vapor it is g s y n plus 1 and the outlet stream is ls x n g s y n. So uh, that is uh, in this manner only you can 
specify the material balance on each and every plate. So Kremser equation of absorption NP is equals to that means number of plates is equals to log of Yn plus 1 minus Mx0 upon Y1 minus Mx0 into 1 minus 1 by A plus 1 by A upon log A. And uh, now you, you might be wondering that whether we have to remember this equation or not. There is no need to remember this equation. There is actually no need because whenever uh, you will be asked on Kremser Brown equation, this equation will be given in the uh, uh, gate examination. Okay, you need not remember this, but whenever absorption factor is equals to one, okay. So when a is equals to one, this equation reduces to now this will be of the form I guess zero by zero, and when you apply the L hospital rule, okay. So ultimately this will be N P is equals to capital Y N plus one minus capital Y one upon Y one minus M X naught. Now if you closely observe it, Y N plus one minus capital Y one is the difference between inlet composition and the outlet composition. So this will be actual mass transfer and here we have Y one minus M X naught. So this will be the equilibrium part. So N P is equals to Y N plus one minus Y one upon Y one minus M X naught and when S is equals to one that means when stripping factor is equals to one for stripping this equation is N P is equals to X naught minus X N. Now X naught is the inlet composition and uh, capital X N is then outlet composition. So this becomes N P is equals to X naught minus X N upon X N minus Y N plus one upon M. So now you have to remember these equations. You can relate it with the diagram uh, that we have shown. So these two equations are important. You need not uh, learn this equation, but always remember mark the plates uh, or mark the inlet stream outlet stream properly apply the uh, equilibrium relationships because we have said that for stages uh, the equilibrium exists between the leaving streams and whenever it is asked minimum uh, solvent flow rate then then there will be an equilibrium relation in this okay so in the next lecture we will be covering some more topic on absorption till then Thank you.